okay guys okay now we'll discuss about uh, simple interest and component test let me uh, give you a few inputs regarding simple interest and simple interest and component interest okay i'll just uh, tell you a few points regarding the simple interest and component test how to calculate and what kind of formulas that we can use in the concept of simple interest and component test so let me take a basic example we'll try to understand what actually simple interest and component interest okay uh, basically there are few terms okay uh, students might have uh, by hearted the formulas like uh, simple interest means ptr by 100 component interest means p into 1 plus r by 100 whole power n so uh, i'll just uh, give you a few shortcuts as well without using these formulas like how to calculate let me take the terms okay we have a terms called principal amount okay principal amount i'm considering it as 1000 rupees rate of interest I'm taking it as 10% per annum and the time period, okay, we can also say that T or N, T means time period, N means number of years, both are same. I'm taking it as two years, okay. And the same case, even in component interest, principal amount is 1000. You, I'll just make the difference and you, you can easily understand what actually the difference between simple interest and component interest. So the rate of interest will be 10% per annum and number of years will be two years what actually happens in the case of simple interest is principal amount 1000 rate of interest 10 percent per annum number of years two years okay if i ask you to calculate simple interest okay interest okay so simple interest formula is p t r by 100 right we all know that simple interest formula is ptr by 100 now p means 1000 into time period is 2 years rate of interest is 10 percent by 100 we substituted all the values here two zeros two zeros will get cancelled now i got the value of simple interest is 200 sometimes they may ask you to calculate find simple interest or sometimes they may ask you to calculate find total amount so what actually the formula for calculating total amount is total amount is equals to principal amount principal amount means the amount that we are going to invest plus interest both we should consider as total amount okay so here total amount is equals to already we calculated simple interest okay total amount is equals to principal amount plus simple interest principal amount is 1000 plus simple interest is 200 which is equals to 1200 is the total amount so if they ask you to calculate only simple interest answer is 200 if they ask you to calculate total amount answer is 1200 now without using this formula without using this formula how we can solve very simple now without using this formula how what what actually the hap, uh, i mean uh, uh, process is happening is very simple so first year 10 percent on thousand okay let's say first year second year okay first year what happens is when you are calculating 10 percent of thousand will be calculated what is 10 percent of thousand hundred rupees right now even in the second year also even in the second year also 10 percent of thousand will be charged what is 10 percent of thousand again it will be hundred now if you add both the interest on the first year as well as second year so what will be the total answer will be 200 200 is the total interest right this is how like we used to calculate from the concept of simple interest so you can use a formula if uh, if you don't want to use this formula you can also follow the general method so instead of using formula you can also follow the same method so for the first year you are calculating 10 percent of thousand means 10 percent of thousand is 100 now in the second year you are calculating 10 percent of again thousand it will be 100 rupees now if the, if the general process will be followed by the component test, what will happen let's say uh, i'm considering first year and second year now we'll just try to differentiate the concept of simple interest and component interest. what happens in component interest is in the first year we'll calculate 10 percent of thousand in the first year we'll calculate 10 percent of thousand what is 10 percent of thousand hundred right okay next second year what we calculate is 10 percent of compound means compounding on one upon other okay one value so if if you are calculating uh, component interest for the second year 10% of not 1000 
thousand plus previous previous year interest is hundred. So ten percent of eleven hundred to be charged. So ten percent of eleven hundred is one hundred and ten. So if you add both years interest hundred plus one hundred and ten, which is equals to two hundred and ten. Two hundred and ten. This is how we used to calculate. Okay, interest for simple interest as well as compound interest. Now, what if some students uh, might be looking for, sir, if you want to apply formula for that, like which formula that we use for compound interest? Don't worry, I will give you the formula. We have a formula to calculate total amount in compound interest. Total amount. Okay, not for compound interest. Total amount. Here the formula is P into one plus R by hundred whole power n. P into one plus R by hundred whole power n. Now let's take values here. Amount total amount you will get if you use a formula in compound interest. This is a formula for compound interest. So you can make a note. This is the most important. Already most of the students knows P T R by hundred for compound interest. In compound interest for finding total amount. P into one plus R by hundred whole power n. So here, okay. So total principal is thousand into one plus R value by hundred whole power. How many years? Two years. Zero zero cancel. So here amount is equals to thousand into plus by hundred is eleven uh, by Sorry, one plus one by ten is eleven by ten. Eleven by ten whole square is eleven square is one twenty one. Ten square is hundred. So again, two zeros, two zeros will get cancelled. Amount is equals to one two one zero. So here we got total amount. As I said, here I have written here very simple. Amount indicates principal plus interest, right? If I want only compound interest, if I want only compound interest, what can be done here for fi finding only compound interest? For finding only component interest, the total amount whatever you have, twelve hundred and ten minus, you need to do principal amount. So the remaining value is two hundred and ten. You just observe the difference. So if you go with the generic method, so it will be easy. Not for all the questions. Okay. Sometimes using formula will makes you uh, easy in the calculation. Anyhow, you will be given a basic calculator on the screen, so no need to worry about calculations. So only the difference is here. You are calculating in the second year ten percent of not thousand, and upon that thousand, you need to add hundred. So ten percent of eleven hundred that to be calculated for compound interest. So you just before going uh, to an exam, so make sure that uh, how to calculate simple interest by using this formula P T R by hundred, and how to uh, calculate compound interest. Total amount formula is P into one plus R by hundred whole power n. If you want to calculate only for compound interest. For component interest is equals to amount to minus principal amount. You can do minus p in the formula itself so that you will get component interest values. Okay. So I hope uh, you all are clear with this, uh, like basic uh, understanding about simple interest and component interest. Now I will tell you the shortcut for finding simple interest and component interest, where we use, where we use. Percentage shortcut, okay. So without using, okay, without using this P T R by hundred and without using this P into one plus R by hundred whole power n, we can also solve all these simple interest and compound interest questions by using a simple shortcut called percentage shortcut. What actually this percentage shortcut? Okay, let me tell you here. Okay, by using the same data, principal amount is equal to thousand. R value is equals to ten percent per annum. Number of years is equals to two years. Whenever you will get the data like this, sometimes they may give you uh, directly simple interest and they will ask you to calculate principal amount. Whatever it may be the process. So remember here, always in percentage shortcut, always remember principal amount is to be considered as hundred percent. Principal amount is to be considered as hundred percent. Now, in, for calculating simple interest. And for calculating component interest by using same percentage shortcut, okay, you will get the same answer. Let's see, okay. Either in the simple interest or compound interest, always do remember hundred percent will be considered as principal amount. Okay, what is the principal amount here? 
thousand rupees. This is always hundred percent. Okay, in the exam you may get some random value. Let's say two thousand seven hundred to be considered as principal amount. Then you should consider hundred percent is two thousand seven hundred, whichever the value given in the exam as principal amount. So you should consider those principal amount as hundred percent. I hope you all are clear with this. Now, then what about if hundred percent is thousand? How to calculate simple interest? Let me give you a small understanding about simple interest. Consider always for this particular shortcut. So simple interest is n into r percentage. N into r percentage. So people majority of the students knows this PTR by hundred formula. Without using this PTR by hundred, you can directly say answer by using this percentage percentage shortcut. So what you should remember from now is simple interest is equals to n into r percentage. Okay. So here, what is n into r? 10 into 2. What is 10 into 2? 20. So I can say that if 100 percent is 1000, what is 20 percent? So 20 percent is 200. 20 percent is 200. That's it. Simple interest answer is 200. That's it. Even if you use PTR by 100, you will get the same answer. Okay. Now, how to use uh, by using this percentage shortcut? Uh, how to get the answer for compound interest? Very simple. Either in the simple interest or compound com, uh, compound interest, hundred percent is always principal amount. Hundred percent is always principal amount. Now, here when you want to calculate simple interest, I said n into r percentage for calculating compound interest. Already we discussed uh, this particular logic in profit and loss as well as percentages. I hope you remember this a plus b plus a b by hundred. B plus A B by hundred. If you remember this, you will use this formula again in component interest. What actually these alphabets A and B? So here for two years that to be considered. Okay, A and B for two years means two years means A B. We consider two variables. If it is for three years, you should consider A B C. I said already one student asked. So what if we have three values for in successive increment and successive decrement? So first consider for two values A plus B plus A B by hundred. Whatever the answer you will get. Do it for the same with third value. Okay, I said the same thing. Okay, so for compound interest, a plus b plus ab by hundred. So what is the rate of interest here? Ten percent. For how many years? Two years. Now I can say that ten plus ten percent for two years, right? Ten percent for the first year and ten percent for the second year. Ten plus ten plus ten into ten hundred. Hundred by hundred. So which is equals to ten plus ten plus one means twenty one percent. Okay, now hundred percent is thousand rupees. What about twenty one percent? Twenty one percent will be two hundred and ten rupees. This is what your component interest. That's it. Even if you use p into one plus r by hundred formula, you will get answer component interest is two hundred and ten rupees. But without using these formulas, you can use this percentage trick. I hope you all are clear with this. So for finding simple interest, you can use n into r percentage. For finding compound interest. You can use a plus b plus ab by 100 because here we are considering interest upon interest again. So that's the reason we are using these particular things. There are so many shortcuts like this for calculating simple interest and compound interest. But make sure that you are thorough with the concept. We are we cannot expect like this type of question will be given uh, for the next upcoming slot in TCS NQT. So make sure that you just Keep practicing as many questions as possible from the concept of simple interest and compound interest. There are so many things and so many shortcuts that to be discussed. So, but first, if you are perfect with the concept, then you can try with the question so that you will get doubts. So, uh, your doubts that will be uh, clarified later. Okay. So, I hope uh, you all are clear with this. So, as I said at the starting, so you will be having uh, a coding session. Uh, the codes which. I uh, was given in the last TCS NQT class. Now just take some five to ten minutes break, so that like uh, we'll be having a coding part. Okay, yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, thank you all. So we'll be having a coding session now. So please be on hold. Take uh, five to ten minutes break, so that we'll continue.